गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे टॉपिक इज सीसी 3.1 वोल्टिंग इन स्पेक्ट्रल लेटेस्ट क्वेश्चन देयर आर फाइव वीडियोस इन सीरीज यू कैन आई थिंक यू गेट ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर विद देयर एक्सप्लेनेशन सो टुडे आल्सो देयर इज गुड क्वेश्चन हियर सो ऑल क्वेश्चन हैव देयर एक्सप्लेनेशन सो दिस इज पार्ट 6 पार्ट 5 यू शुड चेक ऑल दिस वीडियोस पार्ट 1 टू पार्ट 5 देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आर देयर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट The first question is to assess the surface of a weld for direct inspection. The distance from the surface to the eye should be a maximum of. You can get it this question from CC 3.1, the welding, the CC 3.1 book. You can find out this question. To assess the surface of a weld for direct inspection, the distance from the surface to the eye should be maximum. So, how much distance should be there from eye to the object or surface? How much distance should be there? So, the option A is 200 mm, option B is 600 mm, option C is 60 mm, and option D is 6000 mm. See here. This is your. You see here. This is your surface. And from here to here, this is your eye. So the angle should be in between 30 degree, not more than 30 degree. And the distance from here, you see eye from here to here, this distance is 600 mm. So from 60 600 mm should be the distance, the maximum. The maximum distance should be 600 mm. So correct answer will be option B is the correct answer. See the second question. What is the recommended minimum range of illumination required by EA BS EN 970 for inspection of the welded surface? How much illumination is required? To check a or inspection a welded surface means how much light means illumination means light is required to check this surface. Otherwise, you cannot see the correct types of defects are there or not. So the option A is 90 to 125 lux. Option B is 150 to 25 to 50 and 350 to 500 and 35 to 40. So these are the four option is here. This is the four option is here. So correct answer will be answer C is 350 to 500 lakhs is required to check a or inspection a welded surface. So option B, option C is the correct answer. Who should have access to the WPS? Everybody knows the WPS. Who should have access? If a fabrication engineer need WPS, if a planning engineer need WPS, who should have access the WPS? So the option is there. Four option is there. The correct answer, the right answer will be chosen from them. First is entity operators. B is inspector only. C is welder only. D is welder and inspector. Entity operators don't need the WPS. They need the entity procedure. They don't need the WPS. Inspector only. Inspector only is okay, but to control this WPS, definitely we need two manpower. One is welder, another is inspector. So option D is the means answer D. Option D is the correct answer. Question four: Who has the responsibility of ensuring the welder is using the correct consumable during fabrication? So, correct consumable during fabrication. Who has the responsibility that welder is doing the welding with correct electrode? Who have the main responsibility? So, there is option: the QA department, B is storeman and the welder, C is welding engineer. D is the welder and the welding inspector. 
the first option the qa department qa department never go will they will not go to site maybe they will go or go once a week so they are not responsible for consumable part during fabrication to correct they are using or not storemen they will store and storemen and the welder storemen they are usually sit in the store so they will not go to site for checking for the welder they have the different different, different department c is the welding engineer welding engineer they will they will prepare the wps they are the approval of uh, wps so basically the welding engineer comes under the qa department and the d is the the welder and the welding inspector option d is the correct answer because they are the one the welder is the one they should check the wps what is mentioned in the mention the consumable that consumable should, should be checked and the welding inspectors because the welding inspector should be at site they should check the welder is the approved welder and they are doing the welding as per that approved wps so option d is the correct answer this is the correct answer so answer d question 5 who has the responsibility of ensuring the welder is using the correct polarity during welding definitely the same answer will be there first the welder and the welding inspector this is the right answer storeman and the welder no welding engineer no and the qa department no the polarity always sh should done by the side so side welding engineer they will go side not every day the qa department this is they will not go every day maybe once a week just check the site that they are doing the approved qa procedure or not and storeman and the welder definitely this is not the correct answer is the option a answer a is the correct answer question six you notice the welders are adjusting the current on the welding side is this allowable so you see one welder at site they are adjusting the current means means maybe current is required high so the welder is doing by adjusting the current high so is this allowable the welder can do that welder the current can be uh, increased as as per as per his uh, thinking is this allowable so option is never yes never he cannot do like this option b the welder has the final say on voltage and the current no the wps is the final one the voltage and current so they should do by the approved wps only if the current is within the range recorded on the wps no the current and the voltage only if the current is the within the range recorded in the wps yes the current if it is what is the range is there it is if it increase by the range bounding they should be bounding in the range so then no problem they can increase as per the wps what is mentioned in the wps as long as the welder has approval from the welding foreman definitely welding foreman it cannot do the welder can do anything for this so welder have their main thing the wps that they should do as for the wps so answer c is the correct answer who determines what the correct oil preparation should be who determines first things first option is a the welding engineer b is the welding supervisor c is the welder decide the welder will decide d is the, the inspector will recommend what is suitable the welding engineer it can be we can see the next one next i will give the explanation the welding supervisor welding supervisor they cannot do they cannot the authorized version for root gap root phase and included angle no the welder will decide definitely it could not know you know very well welder cannot decide for the wph means root gap root phase and glue. the inspector will recommend what is suitable no inspector also cannot do so the welding engineer is the one who make the wph they are the they knows very well the root gap root phase and included angle what is the correct one 
and if it is changed they only will be the holding engineer will change anything it needs change so answer a means option a is the correct answer question 8 what course of action should be taken upon finding a older using incorrect welding consumable if you see there is some older they are using the welding consumable that is not mentioned in the wps means they are using the incorrect welding consumable so what you do a is report the incident and record all relevant information means you should report the incident first and record all relevant information okay b is allow welding to proceed if the workmanship is good no you cannot allow the welding to proceed if the workmanship is good we cannot do if it is because they are violating the wph none if the tensile strength of the consumable is the same as the approved one no they should think they know the basic thing is wph they are not follow the wph change the electrode for the correct type and continue welding so there is two things one is report the incident and record all relevant information and change the electrode so first things for my understanding it should be a because you have to report the incident your welding supervisor and they will check what is happening that is maybe in non in non conformance report so non conformance report can be generated there in this case because they are using incorrect welding consumable so root cause and the corrective action and the preventive action should be taken for this type of issue so option d also not is the correct answer option a is the correct answer i think you understand this question nine who should have access to the wpqrs older performance qualification records entity operators inspectors only welder only and welding engineer definitely the welding engineer should have the all records for older procedure qualification record Ten is who has the final responsibility of sentencing and accepting the weld on the completion you have finished the weld then who have the authority to check and who have the responsibility to check that this welder have no problem and it's okay so who have to accept this weld authority responsibility first is option a the contractor inspector option b contractor inspector first thing the contractor inspector no contractor inspector is not the final responsibility they may be the primary stage site manager no site manager they are not because this is the related of welding it should be welding supervisor maybe welding inspector so we have to choose the correct one the welder because they are the welder is doing welding they they are not he is not responsible to approve this welding the client inspector or certifying authority yes every time we have approved one certifying authority for this jobs so there they will come and check the welding is correct or not the weld is accepted or not so this is the correct answer so option d is the correct answer so you see answer d so option d is the correct answer so this 10 question is very important question and you have to check from this ECC book every questions are there and have their explanation is there so thanks thank you very much to watching my video please like share and subscribe my channel to get the regular video thanks a lot